Good morning, everybody. I hope you can all hear me. I'm guessing you can because I can't get any feedback from you. Um, hello and welcome. Uh, welcome to the first Bay Alive uh, webcast. Um, I'm your host, Tim Peeling, and I'm the Bayer product manager. Uh, firstly, I hope you, your, your family, your loved ones are well and safe during this difficult time. And secondly, um, I hope business is uh, open well. Um, I, don't think, I don't know what the best uh, expression for that is, but um, I think if it's OK and um, doing OK, then I think that's the new excellent for, for 2020 as far as business and, and sales are concerned. Um, the pest control industry has some great advantages and great positives we can take out of being in this, uh, this great industry. Um, our core species, rats, mice, cockroaches, they don't understand social distancing. They don't abide by lockdown, so they will still be there. They will still be there reducing in numbers. Um, they will still be there causing industry, um, problems um, to public health. And the other thing, great thing about this industry is the cross spectrum of other industries we service. Whereas some um, industries such as the hotel, hospitality and catering, they won't be needing our service quite now, but they will be needing our support. Um, they will need to know what we can, what we can't do during this time and what we will be able to do once this time's over. So I think there's some real positives there. We need to be there to support as other spectrums of the industries, uh, such as food manufacturing, the care home facilities, those are going to need us more than ever. Um, they're going to need pest free premises more than ever. And, and that's what today is really about, is um, hoping we can support you as Bayer um, with quality products. Obviously, that's what we're renowned for um, and, um, and how we can support you to support your customers. OK, so today um, we will be uh, Richard will be discussing um, the importance of using residual insecticides um, during this time of restric restricted site visits. Um, Richard's got two presentations to do. After each presentation, we'll do a, sh a short Q&A session. Um, on your right hand side of your screen, uh, you'll see able, you'll be able to do some questions and answers. Um, so please, the reason why this is live is to give you the opportunity to, to type in some questions. Um, I'm the moderator, so I get to see all those questions. Um, and we were asking them at the end, but if I see some common questions or some good questions, what I do is I'll publish those so everybody will be able to see them, uh, the types of questions that are coming in. At the end of, of Rich's presentations, we're going to do a short interactive survey, really quick and easy. And basically what that'll be is if you enjoyed today, then what would you like to see the next presentation on? Um, and that will be live and interactive. So Rich is going to talk about two products today. The first being Max Force Platin. Uh, our multi-talented cockroach gel, um, offering services such as um, 12 months residual um, with 12 months pa palatability. Um, so it's great whilst you have limited site visits during this time. Again, like I said, we're going to do a short Q&A. We'll stop for a, a five, 10 minute break just to allow us to fill our coffee cups up. And we'll come back and just talk about key offering Partex. Again, um, a great residual value of up, up to 12 weeks um, and a great alternative if you're looking for alternatives to Flycam W. Q&A session um, and then what we do is the closing survey and then we talk about the CPD points. So let me just queue up Richard. Richard, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear You uh, just take yourself off mute, Rich. There we go. That's better. Okay, so good morning, everybody. Hope you can all hear me. Um, hope you're all keeping well in the current situation. Uh, as Tim says, what we'd like to do is just run through a couple of our key products at this moment in time and just perhaps have a think about how they're going to offer some support, offer some aid, offer some additional benefits at this moment in time when things might be a bit more limited regarding site access, regarding um, the amount of visits that you can carry out and the amount of treatments that you have available to you to try and get on top of, of uh, internal 
pest infestations. Um, so we'll run through the, the, the Maxwell's platting first, if that's OK, and see how that's going to offer some benefits. And as Tim says, what we'll do, we'll have a break and then we'll uh, we'll touch on the, the benefits of Kyoto and Partix at this moment in time. So from our point of view, as Tim says, what we're trying to do is we're trying to pro provide professional pest controllers with the very best tools at this moment in time to allow them to carry out the treatments and keep control of the pest infestations that we're dealing with. And we think that our two latest formulations are really going to offer a, number, a series of benefits in that in, in that way because of the longevity, the residuality, uh, the palatability. You know, there's a number of key aspects about those products that can really bring a, a benefit at, at this moment in time. And we all know that there are current challenges. We all know that there are issues at this moment in time. Um, speaking to professional pest controllers and the food industry, those kinds of things that over the past few weeks as we've been uh, more chained to our desks rather than out there and, and, and working in the field, then certainly get a feeling that there is a, issues with site access in a number of locations. Uh, and if you're getting problems with site access, and those are varying from uh, the site is closed to the site is running at optimum capacity from a production point of view. So both of those cause, you know, may necessarily cause problems regarding access and treatment of pest infestations. So if we are limited in that respect, then it's a question of how long will our treatments remain effective and you know how long can we put a treatment in place that's going to give a, a measure of control, uh, a, a, a measure of uh, removing or managing the activity that, that you know, we may not get access as much as we'd possibly like. And then, of course, it's will we get that follow up? procedure in place you know after a treatment can we get back and do the regular follow-ups that we want to do if we're treating an insect infestation or do we have to rely on the product that we put in place lasting a little bit longer and working a little bit harder and doing a little bit more for our chances of, of pest eradication Sorry about that. so so what we have to look at is what are our chances of controlling the target pest um and we can we can do that with the, the 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 products that and the availability that we have with our products at this moment in time. So you know, as we've already said, what we feel is that we've got a number of formulation solutions that that can support in this situation. Um, so one of the things that we can do is we can select the most suitable formulation because that can help. That can give us a better chance of control um, and the right residual insecticide can bring a, a real benefit, a, a, a real level of control um, and give us a, a, a you know, a, a, a fighting chance in these, these these awkward situations where, you know, access might be limited, access might be restricted. Or we don't know when we're coming back again. And then moving on to the cockroach bait side of thing, it's you know if we can get something in there that's truly palatable and is going to work in a you know, in a very efficient way, then that's going to give us a you know management and control in a in a very effective and efficient way. So and then what we look at then is the reliability, you know, the stability of the formulation. How efficient is it in the number of situations? Is it efficient in every situation on every surface? Or, you know, it, it, are there some limitations with the product that we need to be aware of and it's not suitable for certain sites and certain locations? Um, the right formulation can, can help us manage that, to be perfectly honest. So what we also need to remember from a, from a Bayer perspective as well is that we can never forget that um, behind COVID-19, behind all the struggles and the, and the trials and tribulations that we have at this moment in time is that the, pro the, the actual process of registration and keeping products on the market keeps going. That doesn't end, that is challenging, and all that has to happen in the background. So we still continue with the same regulatory pressures and the same restrictions on labels that we saw six months ago, 12 months ago, and in 12 months time, 18 months time, two years time, whatever, then those regulatory pressures, those challenges will still be there when we come back to a bit more normality. So we'll still have those issues about how we're actually going to um, use products, keep products on the market and actually work within the more restricted labels that, that become available. And then what we also need to do is we need to meet the requirements and the needs of professional pest controllers and you know we do that by going out and speaking to pest controllers through our customer advisory councils 
And you know, when we ask what 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 pest and culture and trawlers need from products, from residual insecticides, it's that broad spectrum of pests and consistent performance, be that an insecticide, be that a gel bait, that consistent performance in all locations, all surfaces. And I think with the current product range, we can tick a lot of those boxes and give a lot of support to the professional pest controllers out there at this moment in time. So the first product that we'd really like to talk about is Maxwell Platin. We all know the harmful effects of cockroach infestations in residential and commercial conditions. And we've developed this latest cockroach bait, a new active ingredient to the market as well. But we developed this very much with, you know, food manufacturing, certainly with, uh, you know, uh, sites that require high levels of hygiene, those kind of things, uh, and, and cleaner and healthier environments. A lot of that thought has got into that around the actual this actual product and the development of this product itself. So the gel itself, the cockroach bait itself, completely new to the market, contains blue bead taste enhancing technology, which is a, a fruit based attractants, which make it very, very attractive. Um, one of the really interesting things about this product is that the length of time that it remains uh, effective for remains palatable for and you've got that 12 month period up to 12 months when this product is going to remain effective and attractive to cockroach activity as i said new active ingredient so it's always nice to be able to bring something new to the market so for the first time in a while brand new active ingredient so it's really nice to be able to do that as I mentioned, it's hypoallergenic, so for those sensitive areas, a good choice, whether it's hospitals, schools, food manufacturing sites as well. Um, as you'd expect from any cockroach bait, we get a good level of secondary kill. Um, very consistent in application in all temperatures. Completely new formulation, it's not been seen in the UK market before. And interestingly, the little tab there controls cockroaches and grey silverfish. So that's something that's slightly unusual about this product, but we'll touch on that in a, in a little bit more detail as we go through the presentation. So we have the blue bead technology in there. So these these fruit based enhancers that are going to attract feeding cockroaches. One thing to remember about those, although it says blue bead, there's no plastic issue or, or micro um, uh, micro bead issues with that. So it's completely biodegradable. It's not going to cause any issues to the environment, that kind of thing. Um, the fruit based taste enhancers are designed to attract feeding cockroaches, especially nymphs. And we have, we've got a lot of site work that we've done with this product in the UK uh, and we've used it in some of the most difficult situations that we can find and it's performed incredibly well. Now, one of the key things that we need to bear in mind at this moment in time when we ha are having limited access to a number of sites is we've got this excellent long lasting bait palatability up for 12 months. Now the way that this product does this is it performs slightly differently than, than other uh, cockroach baits with, within the Bayer family or elsewhere within the industry. So it's designed to form a slight skin over the product and application. It doesn't reduce the palatability, but what it does, it protects the product in from moisture, that kind of thing. So that's how you get the long um uh, palatability with this particular product so it, it it and we've had it down for a considerable amount of time we've done a lot of testing on this and the, you know it's still palatable after a long period of time so again if you are struggling to get into these sites if you're struggling to get back to to, to follow-up visits it's one thing to bear in mind it's not going to go off and in, in you know in a, in a short period of time it's going to be performing for you for long periods in some of these really complex locations and sites that you might be getting minimal access to at this moment in time. And then one of the other things about this formulation is it's not based on simple sugars, it's on, based on complex carbohydrates. So what we found previously is that where there's been beta version two cockroach baits, it tends to be because they're based on simple sugar. So this is future proofing the product. This is engineering out any issues with, with um, feeding issues or behavioral resistance, those kind of things. So we're making this a product going forward that's going to be appealing and it's going to work with cockroach infestation for a you know for, 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 for time to come so we've got this new active ingredient chlorothianidin it's really nice to see that into the into the UK market extremely temp stable in temperatures it does not run or leak on application even on vertical surfaces so it's and you know the the the, the, the tube itself the application is it you know it, it always works very very well so you don't get any running or blocking of the tube itself um, as with all of uh, the cockroach baits, the bait cockroach baits, 30 gram tube that's applied by a, a typical bait gun. And as I mentioned, it's going to be soft and wet when applied, but within hours it's going to form a, a, a slight skin over it and dry out. 
It doesn't have an impact on palatability. It doesn't have an issue with the cockroaches coming up and picking that bait. But what it does do is it protects it and it makes it more suitable. It proves the longevity of the actual formulation itself. It's going to work for a longer period of time. As I say, we've had it in some quite uh, robust and difficult situations, some of the most challenging sites that we can find in the UK. And the performance has been very good for long periods of time. So we're very pleased with the way it's performing. So it is going to offer you a real option going forward when it comes to the actual delivery of cockroach control for a, you know, a long period of time over an infestation period. So from an application point of view, just uh, some information about the application rates there. So as you'll see, as we go up through the cockroach species, then the uh, application rate grows, um, which is pretty typical with, with other Bayer baits as well. Um, for those who aren't sure what a seven mil drop is or what it looks like, uh, Bayer have produced some really, really nice calibration cards that we can send out to you that will help you understand just exactly what the, the right size, the right drop size is. So they're available from Bayer. We've got lots of those printed. We're more than happy to supply those out to help professional pest controllers. Um, just give them a bit more information, a bit of support with the product. So those are available and it's the standard 30 gram cartridge that you would expect from a, from a, a Bayer bait formulation. Um, now, as I've already mentioned, this is the first bait of its kind to have grey silverfish on the label. Um, so it's a really nice to have uh, on, on this product. Um, now regarding the grey silverfish, uh, here's some information about identification. We do feel that grey silverfish in the UK are probably underreported and I've actually had two conversations with professional pest controllers over the last seven days um, where they've had uh, grey silverfish issues uh, they know the grey silverfish because of the locations that they're finding them in, um, the kind of situation, the really long term treatments they're taking some time to control. So we're really happy to support in that situation and get as involved as we possibly can. You know, it's very interesting to see how the product will perform. Uh, grey silverfish is by far the most common pest, pest silverfish species over in uh, on in Europe and you know a number of our colleagues are working with them over in Europe and and using this bait formulation with with a great deal of success. Now the problem with the grey silverfish is, is is the locations where you're actually going to find them because they're not as dependent on humidity levels as the standard silverfish species that we tend to see in the UK. So that means that removing moisture and uh, you know changing the humidity levels will not necessarily give you a level of control with the grey silverfish. They can be found in all locations. So instead of finding them in kitchens and bathrooms, you find them in bedrooms, uh, living rooms, those kind of things, which is quite, quite typical of the information that I've received back from professional pest controllers in the in the field just recently. Um, and certainly uh, our colleagues in Germany have done a lot of research and work with this, this product and they've been using it in domestic premises, houses, semi-detached houses uh, for a period of time and gaining in, within seven days gaining the level of 80% control with the use of this product. So it, it is quite a useful product because of the locations where grey silverfish can be found. It's just uh, understanding what the level of activity is out there in the UK at this moment in time. Now what will happen if you do have grey silverfish and you're treating them with this product is that they will not be attracted to this product as cockroaches will, so they more blunder across it. So you need to be that that um, is the reason for the smaller application rate that you can see down at the bottom of the screen there. So it's you know you, it's a much smaller, it's much smaller uh, droplet size and more drops per square meter than you would necessarily have with a cockroach because you're looking for them to blunder on it. But when they come across it, they'll feed it quite on it quite readily and you'll get a good level of control looking at the trials that have been carried out in, in Europe. As I've already said, this is a hypoallergenic product, so it doesn't contain any of the big 14 allergens, so it makes it very suitable for food manufacturing, very suitable for schools, very suitable for hospitals and sensitive environments. So there's another benefit to this, and it's something that, you know, uh, Bayer worked quite hard on to, you know, putting some thought into the formulations, but where they might be applied and how we can make them more suitable for those, some of those quite sensitive locations and sensitive areas. So going forward, it's something else that should be borne in mind with the application of this product is it is quite suitable for some of these more sensitive areas. And, you know, if, if, if um, customers are looking for uh, allergen statements, things like that, that's not a problem. We can provide all that kind of information for, uh, from Bayer just to support you with your customers and, and the service delivery with customers. 
So just to round that off, it's the, it, the new cockroach gel. Remember this interesting aspect of it where we get that 12 month control and that's due to the, the product going slightly harder a couple of hours after application, but it does remain incredibly palatable. And a lot of that's down to the blue bee technology, those feeding stimulants that are in there. But remember that that blue bee technology is not microbead, it's not plastic, so there's no contamination risk and going any further, it's going to break down in the product and cause no issue whatsoever. New active ingredient, which is always nice for the pest control industry. We've got this really stable and consistent formulation that's going to work even in the most challenging locations, moisture, temperature. It's not going to have an impact on this product. It's good against all major species of cockroaches and we've got the nice benefit, this nice add on to the label of grey silverfish, which are probably underreported. And we hope to get more information about that as we go forward with this product. And we've got the great secondary kill as well that you'd expect with a, a, a typical Bayer product. So nice product, very useful in some very challenging situations. And if you are struggling to get access to a number of different sites or a number of different locations, this product's going to offer a lot of benefits in those kind of situations. Thank you, Richard. OK. Yep, thank you very much. Let me share my screen and we can uh, ask a couple of questions. OK, uh, so we've got a couple of questions coming here. Uh, one that I published um, earlier, which was, uh, I think you answered this one, but uh, will the cartridge fit in my existing applicator? Yeah, it certainly will. Um, uh, there's there's absolutely no issue if you've got an existing gel applicator. Uh, if you have got, if you want to contact us and let us know exactly what applicator that is, but if it's one of the applicators that takes the other Bayer car uh, cartridges at this moment in time, then it's exactly the same size as the other cartridges, so there shouldn't be any issue with that whatsoever. Okay. Um, another question is. Um, um, have you done trials in the UK? Yeah, so we've not done registration trials as such because that tends not what we do, but what we do, we do product trials. So when we get access, so long before this product was actually brought to the market, um, we did a number of trials in some quite difficult locations. And as I say, as I said in the presentation, we went out there and we picked on, on some of the that some of the harshest and most difficult sites where we know that they've had historic cockroach infestations for a number of years and it wasn't just the debate that made the difference it was also the work that was put in by the professional pest controller with the support that we gave them from Bayer but in this particular site they managed to bring uh, uh, the highest level of control that they've had over cockroach species for a number of years and it, you know a lot of that has been brought out in some of the uh, uh, articles that we've published and some of the um, uh, some of the uh, information from the actual site contacts as well as has been published in those articles. So um, yes is the short answer and um, we didn't just put it in a in the easiest site we could find. We picked some of the most difficult ones and it performed incredibly well, uh, both from a, how it performs from a longevity point of view, but also how it performs in very hot, very humid conditions and the performance was very, very good. OK, uh, well, it wouldn't be a pest controllers uh, survey without the question. What is the price? <laughs> um, well, uh, this product is sold through our two key distributors, which is Baratine and Killjoy. And um, so work with those two distributors. What I would say is that we we've, we've brought this product onto the market to be competitively priced. Um, and so, you know, please contact your distributors, work with your distributors. But we're, we're reasonably pl pleased that we've put this into the market at a competitive price. Um, one of the reasons being is that we want to generate some interest in the professional pest control industry and cockroach control. We don't think it's an area that's been covered or spoken about for some time and there's just an acceptance that there's a number of products on there and you pick your product and you use it. But we really want to throw some uh, emphasis back on uh, understanding cockroaches, perhaps doing a little bit more training, understanding about the target species. Um, and also you've got the benefit of you've, you've got the extra benefit of the grey silver fish on the label of this. So you're getting more out of the product. You get the longevity. So please speak to distribution, but I think you'll find it quite competitively priced as, a, as opposed to previous Bayer products. OK, 
um, that answers that question. Uh, one question that I potentially were to answer um, is the product endorsed by HACCP certification. Uh, in the United States, we have the HACCP certification on this specific product, but we don't have it within Europe. So that's something we don't currently have. But um, if you have the need and um, feel the need, then that's something we potentially could get. But we don't have it within this product within the Europe. Um, I think that's pretty much it. All the other questions seem a bit more involved and a bit more technical. So what we do for that is um, the, the names, we, we've got names next to those. So we're going to be able to contact you separately to be able to uh, answer those. Thank you, Richard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, what we do now, guys, um, is the time is uh, 10.25, running on time, which is great. Um, if we give ourselves five minutes to grab ourselves a cup of coffee and a cup of tea, um, and we'll be back here um, by half past 10. Thank you very much. Jim?
Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're refreshed and, and you've got a cup of coffee. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just pass Richard back now. Okay, hi everybody. Okay. So hopefully you can all hear me. Right, brilliant. So um, just to touch on our second presentation today, um, as we said in the earlier presentation, what we're really thinking about is how our formulations can support professional pest controllers. And that's at all times. Uh, and formulation choice is important. It uh, gives you a, a number of... Uh, um, opportunities to control the pest in a number of different situations. So, you know, formulation, thinking about the formulation is, in, is, is important and it does ultimately benefit the delivery of pest control um, service and, and, and control of the target pest species. Now, this isn't just a case of in the current situation. Obviously, this is going to offer you a lot higher level of support, you know, beyond this. But at this moment in time, when we think about some of these key products that, 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 that Bayer have developed in, in recent history, they are offering a, a, a solution at this moment in time for the, some of these really tricky situations that, that, that we've mentioned and that you might be finding yourself in regarding access and those kind of things. So we would like to go on and talk about Catherine Partix, which is our latest residual insecticide and just highlight and, and bring to your attention some of the key benefits that you can get from this formulation that obviously will perform a high level of, of, of service for you right now but beyond the the issues that we're in and going through at this moment in time it's going to provide a high level of support going forward and it's going to be a real uh, benefit to professional pest controllers in the way that this formulation functions and not only that, but the services that it works on um, are really going to offer a, a, a high level of control that we've perhaps not seen from any one formulation in previous history. So again, as we said earlier, we're in the situation right now where we might be struggling for site access. We've got this concern about how long will our active ingredients remain active because we may not get back as soon as we'd like to. Follow up processes, well, you know, if we're using a residual insecticide that's going to break down after four weeks, will we get, you know, where will we be in four weeks? So what, what benefit is that going to give us? You know, what, what do we need? Is it going to help us from a, a control perspective if we're not quite going to, if we're not guaranteed to get them back in two, three, four weeks time? Then is there something that can offer us a bit more longevity in the formulation just to just to cover that that scenario and cover and cover that occurrence if we don't seem to get access that the access that we we desire to these sites and then you know is it going to work on the target pest is it broad spectrum enough to cover all the pest species that we want it to and then as we've already said about um uh, Platin and about the Partix formulation as well is that a little bit of thought into the formulation choice can 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 bring some real benefits, especially at this moment in time. Uh, and a, a, a residual insecticide with good long um, uh, residuality is going to help the control process. And you know if it's stable on all surfaces, you know that you could possibly consider spraying then that's a real benefit. You can be assured that you can walk away and leave a, a controlling factor in place after the actual treatment itself. So, and again, just to reiterate this, because it is important, you know, what, wherever we are now, sooner or later, we will return to some level of normality and that level of normality will bring the regulatory pressures that we've had for the past several years and we'll have going forward for the next several years. So one of the things to bear in mind with both of these formulations is that they both have new registrations so you know when it comes to restrictions when it comes to labels changing and differing labels both of these products offer you some stability right now but also in the next seven eight nine ten years going forward because they have gone through a biocidal product registration so they're not going to change they're not going to see drastic reductions on the label in fact going forward 
what you might see is additions coming onto the label as 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 we increase the te the the trials and what have you that we're doing. Um, you might see the introduction of actually more species, certainly on the Partix label. So you know, we're in a strong position with these two products. We're in a strong position with them right now because they're going to offer you a level of control, longevity and application, long residuality, long palatability. But what they're also going to offer you is they're going to offer you confidence in the product label itself that this is the product label. And if it does change anytime soon, it's not going to mean a reduction in, in the actual pests that are on the, on the label itself. It's going to lead to, it's going to put more on the label, if we're being perfectly honest. So a strong position for both products. They've both gone through biocides. They're both good choices because if you can work with the label now, the chances are it'll be very, very similar in nine years time. And that might not be the situation with a number of other products that are on the market right now. So from that point of view, as well as the consistent performance, you've got the consistent label to work with as well, which is beneficial because it means we know where we all stand from a treatment point of view, application point of view, and also target species point of view. So listen to our customers about what they need from a residual insecticide. And again, we do this through our customer advisory councils and we run these on a regular basis and we'll be looking to run one again soon in a slightly different format, but it's something that we'd like to um, you know, keep 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 the the movement and uh, and whatnot of, of of communicating with our professional pest controllers. But when we've done this work in the past, then what do you need from a residual insecticide? Well, um, obviously you need a broad spectrum of pests that's consistent on a number of surfaces. And we think that with uh, Catherine Partix, we're bringing you those solutions. We're bringing you as wide a level of pests as we can on a biocides label. But we're also matching that with good performance, consistent performance on a number of different surfaces. So one of the problems that we have with surfaces is that we, what happens to this insecticide when you spray on it? Well, some of it's absorbed, but also some of it drops into small channels, microscopic channels that are found on the surfaces of a number of different uh, um, uh, items, be it wood, concrete, whatever, but there's, the, the, there are gaps that allow the active ingredient to drop into the surface. It's not being absorbed, it's just the active ingredient is no longer available to the target species because it's dropped into a gap, that, the microscopic gap that exists on the surface. So that means that, that you know, making uh, accessibility to the active ingredients on every surface is a complicated process. And it, you know, it takes some work and it's taken a lot of work from a very perspective. So this formulation, it is a revolutionary new formulation. So it, yes, it's delta methadone, which is an active ingredient that you've seen from Bayer before, whether it's wettable granules or going back in many, many years, crackdown, something like that. None of those formulations match this one. This is a completely revolutionary formulation. Um, Many, many times you go and speak and we say that, you know, it's very difficult to register a new active ingredient. So the technology that we put into a product has to go into the formulation. So we have to make more out of the active ingredients that we can. And this is a perfect example of this situation where we have a, we have an active ingredient. We know it works well. We know it tried and tested. We know it's in many cases it's 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 it's, it's well liked by the best industry. And what we do, we, we wrap the most revolutionary formulation technology around it to make it perform as well as it possibly can on every surface. So although you've seen other delta methane formulations from Bayer before, this is not the same. It is streets ahead. It is years ahead from a technological point of view because we've put the technology into the formulation itself. So that means it's going to be consistent on absorbent, but all surfaces. And we're very pleased that it's going to last, it, we've got a residuality from this product of 12 weeks. So just bearing that in mind with these sites where we might have limited access at, at the moment due to either lockdown or uh, increased production runs, that kind of thing, then this is going to give you a, a sense of security after a treatment that it's going to work for a, a, you know, a reasonable long period of time after you leave the site. So you can take a bit of comfort in that and you can give your customers some comfort from that information about how long this is going to perform for them. So it's, it's powerful on a broad spectrum insecticide uh, of, of pests and we're very pleased with the, the broad nature of the label. Uh, we've got crawling insects, which covers your likes of your cockroaches, fleas, things like that. We've got house flies at rest on there. Um, you won't get the full uh, 12 weeks for things like house flies at rest. That's more along the lines of uh, four to six weeks. And we've also maintained spiders on the on the label of one of our products as well, which again is one of the key things that we wanted to keep. If we do a residual treatment for spiders, then you're going to get about eight weeks control with spiders. 
It is effective on bed bugs. It's highly effective on bed bugs. And we've got this nice add on to this label where we've got external wasp nests, which will take some work this year just to understand how best to treat and how best to work with. Um, unfortunately, this product was launched when there were no wasp nests. So we're in the process of doing some work to understand how the best what the best application method of rate is with this product. So we'll be working on that over the coming weeks and months. And this slide is a really, really nice slide just to explain the difference between other formulations uh, and those other formulations include other Bayer formulations as well. So you can see where the different formulations are most effective and where the least effective looking at this slide, whether it's on a rough porous surface or a smooth non-porous surfaces. And what I'm pleased to say is we've, we've already mentioned the technology that you find in Chaothrin Partix. It's new, it's revolutionary. And the benefits of it is, as you can see from that line at the top, Chaothrin Partix is going to perform very well on every surface. So if you drop below to wet wettable granules, which were the previous Bayer formulation of delta methane, you can see that you're limited to where that was going to work. So one of the really nice aspects of this product, as well as the long residual life, is the different locations, the different situations, the different surfaces where it's going to perform a very important task for you and give you long residuality in some key areas. Very important at the moment, but when we get beyond lockdown, when we get beyond COVID, it's going to be incredibly important going forward for any kind of pest control treatment. So every surface is going to have a good residuality with chaotic particles. And as I say, that's down to the technology in the formulation. It's the technology that we've wrapped around the active ingredient to make it perform, to make it perform that active work at its very, very best. So it's going to be good on every surface, as you can see from that really nice pictorial slide there. And one of the, the, the way that this product works is that what we have in the formulation is a very small amount of natural wax. Um, the way that has no taint, it doesn't leave any stain, it doesn't have any impact on the formulation itself. But this patented technology allows the actual product itself, the active, the the the, the, uh, um, the 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 particles of insecticide, to be larger. Now that's quite useful because with a larger particle of insecticide. We already mentioned that every surface has these chasms, these gaps, not just the porous surfaces. All, all surfaces have a, um, a, a, a a slightly ridged level that allows some of the active ingredients to drop into that. That active ingredient is no longer available to the insect. So that means you need to put more active ingredients into the formulation to make sure that you get the right level of control. But if you've got larger particles, then you're not necessarily losing that active ingredient into these gaps or chasms that you find on these surfaces. So you make it and the phrase that we use is the bioavailability. So you bring, you're making sure that the actual insect can get more contact with the active ingredient and you're boosting the residuality of the product as well. So as you can see, uh, suspension concentrate formulation over on the left, there are very small particles and you can see these tiny channels that you can't you, you need microscopes to see at any kind of surface. But you can see that the active ingredients being lost, there, the actual product itself is it's not absorbing, it's just been lost into these chasms. But on the right hand side, what you have with the solid particle technology is you've got much bigger particles, so they're actually bridging across those gaps. That's really useful because it means that there's far more chance of the insect coming into contact with the actual particle insecticide again. And it, it, there's that phrase bioavailability that I just used. So it means that the active is, is actually open, it's, it's there for the insect to come into contact with. And that's what gives us that 12 weeks residuality on, on a number of the services that we're working on. So if you can if you compare that to an oil based microcapsule, something like that, then, you know, they might have longevity. But when they're ruptured, they're all, they, you know, that encapsulation means that the insecticide drains away. Um, you don't get that drain away, you know, they don't rupture it. It remains from a particle formulation point of view, the actual formulate, the particle remains in that solid block. The insect comes and, you know, rushes against it and it absorbs whatever it needs to control it, but it, you don't lose the actual particle itself, which allows you the, the, the long residuality. And of course, encapsulation is sometimes due to smells or irritation that are associated with a, an active ingredient. We don't, there's no smell or taint with this particular product. So, you know, there's nothing done there to, to protect it, the, 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 the irritation or the taint or anything like that. There's no issue with the particle product at all. So it's not going to stain, it's not going to taint. And that very small amount of natural wax, which is ethically sourced, is not going to cause any kind of issues with application or application equipment or anything like that. It's simply there. It's a very intelligent way 
and also a, a, a very uh, more environmentally friendly way because it reduces a lot of the heavy oils in the product but it's a more uh, sustainable way of producing a, 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 a long-lived residual insecticide that's going to perform for a long period of time in a number of different situations. Importantly, we retain mattresses on this product, so it can be applied to mattresses as other previous uh, um, uh, Bayer formulations could be applied to mattresses, but it's not going to stain, it's not going to cause any kind of unpleasant, unpleasant odour. So importantly, you know, that treatment area when it comes to bed bugs is still available to professional pest controllers via a Bayer label product. It's no departed product that you would be working with. If you wanted to treat uh, uh, to treat mattresses, but you know it, you don't need to worry about staying that kind of thing. So just to finish off with the the Kaofen Partix, we've got that consistent performance even on the most absorbent of surfaces. That's going to give us a long residual of up to twelve weeks. We've got we what we keep, what we've achieved, and what we maintain with the the new Partix label is a broad spectrum of pests that are not going to disappear, they're not going to change. If anything, they'll probably develop over time. With we, we hope to develop the label to be, have more specific pests. We've got quite a wide allowance in there with your crawling insects, spiders, <coughs> excuse me, uh, house flies, bed bugs, crawling insects, covers the likes of your fleas, cockroaches, those ants, those kind of things as well. Powerful on bed bugs, good results with bed bugs, and we could maintain the mattress allowance on the label. And there's no stain, no unpleasant odour, no issues from that respect with this product. It's going to offer you a high level of control for long periods without any kind of uh, uncharacteristic or unwanted stains or odours that may be associated with, with other products. So a, a good all round product that's going to provide a lot of a, a lot of security at this moment in time. But going forward, hopefully it'll develop into a key product for a number of pest controllers because of the, the good characteristics and the, the, the technological characteristics that stand this product aside from other Bayer formulations in the past and other formulations on the pest control market. Thank you, Richard. OK, we've got some good questions come in. OK, so some of the questions we have. Sorry, I keep breaking up. Uh, does it stain? I think you answered this one. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So there is a very small amount of natural wax in there. So it's like any other product. Use it as per the label. Use the, quite, the correct application rate. So five mil to one litre for your crawling insects, bed bugs, you're allowed a larger rate, uh, uh, depending on what the situation is. Spiders are five mil to one litre, uh, house fly five mil to one litre on fly light, alighting sites. And then you've got wasp nests, which would, you know, we're currently doing some work with, which is 10 mil to one litre. So, but no, as long as it's applied as per the label, as long as it's applied as per the label with the right application rate, then no, there's, there's no stain risk with this product. Uh, can I use it on wasps outdoors? Yeah, so the label of this is free hanging wasp nests outdoors and on the outside of buildings. So, you know, yes, it, the, the short answer is yes. Um, as per the label, then you can use it on wasps outdoors, but not in whole, not in wasp nests in the ground, that kind of thing. thing. The label is quite specific. It's free hanging wasp nests. Um, so as I say, that's something that we're hoping to, to work up and develop over the coming months about, you know, and, and work with partners regarding suitable application, that kind of thing, um, to really develop uh, an understanding of, of the best way to use this product. But it's on the label. Uh, we as Bayer are going to work with some partners just to get information about best application, that kind of thing. Great stuff. Uh, can I use an IGR? Uh, no, it's not on the label at this moment in time, so you know you don't mix anything with this product. If you wanted to use an IGR as part of a rotation with it, but not a tank mix, it's not on the label of the product. So um, there's a lot of technology in this formulation, so we don't we just wouldn't advise that at this moment in time. I've been told that this is just another delta methylene formulation. Well, no, I think as I, I mean, I, I, I drew attention to this through the presentation and I think it's, it's a good question. It's a key. It's a key aspect of the product that we do need to to address. 
as I said in the presentation and when we stand up and we give presentations in a number of situations, we are quite honest and we tell the industry that new active ingredients are not common. So when it comes to an organisation like Bayer, then we really do put our technology into the formulation. So it's what you wrap around the, the active ingredient that makes it so successful and makes it work so well. So no, it's not. I mean, this is it is this if 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 we could, we would have uh, Partix as its own formulation because it's not the same as the, any of the other formulations on the, on the on the market at this moment in, sta in time. It stands in its with its own right as something that's different from other formulations because of the particle technology that you find within the formulation. It's just from a registration point of view, you can't do that yet, but we'd hope to do it going forward. So eventually it, it, we would hope that it would be a, a formulation in its in of its own, in its own um characterization um so it's not the same as the other delta methane formulations it's far more advanced as we should as we looked at on the slide earlier we were quite honest with things like our wg wettable granule formulation that it's only suitable on, on certain circumstances the technology in this formulation makes it long-lived and gives it good residuality on, a, on just about every surface that we put in that quite nice pictorial slide that we put up there so it's not the same as other formulations from a technology point of view it's like a family saloon and a formula one car so you know it is a, a good development and you know we we believe that we'll provide good service to the professional pest control industry for a number of years because it has that biocides registration it's been designed for biocides and it's going to provide a lot of control and a, um, a, a be a good tool for professional pest controllers for a number of years in the future it's going to remain on the market and we're very pleased about that Cool, thank you. Uh, just a couple of questions to wrap up. Uh, does it excite the wasps when treated? Um, well, it's just, well, <laughs> potentially yes. And that's why we need to do some work on it, to be perfectly honest, because it, it, it was on the label and the, the product was released just at the wrong time for wasp treatment. So uh, like any synthetic pyrethroid, the possibility is that it will excite wasps. Um, because all synthetic pyrethroids do. So that's why we're really interested in doing some work on this product and seeing what the best delivery method is. It's just it, it because of the of the family of insects that sits in, then it's it's the possibility that yes, it can excite wasps. Thank you. Uh, just the last question: What pack size does it come in? Um, and what area does that cover? I think you've covered the covers, but what's, what's the pack size? Yeah, so the pack size at this moment in time, there are two pack sizes. There's a 500 mil and a 250 mil, but the 250 mil uh, will be the product going forward that, that, that we will continue with. So, um, and that has got a UK and an Irish registration. So uh, going forward in time, it'll be a 250 mil and five mil will do one litre. Um, to, um, unless you're working with bed bugs. So that's the kind of coverage that you're going to get out of the product. The, pro the bottle itself is a Nashville bottle, which is a slightly different bottle than we used to. Um, but what that bottle allows us to do is, is provide very precise measurements of the actual product itself. So we don't underdose, we don't overdose. Uh, we get just the rate and you get every every um, milliliter out of, the, out of the bottle that you need because of the new, uh, the new style of bottle. So 250 mil makes it quite accessible, easy to store. Uh, and it, as I said, it's got the Irish registration as well as the UK. So it's a joint label product. Cool. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. OK, guys, um, if you have any other questions or if we didn't cover your questions, I apologise. Um, but if you do have any other questions, please. And you, or if you think of any questions after, please email uh, us at pestsolutions um, at bayer.com. Uh, uh, just a couple of things before you before you go, I'm just going to wrap up. Um, I've got a quick uh, survey that I'd like you to quickly fill in. Um, so it's an online interactive survey. Uh, so it's a really simple process. Uh, firstly, if you just quickly grab your phones. Um, within your search bar and um, search engine, um, if you type amenti.com. Um, and then if you, once that um, comes up, um, you um, enter the, the code 47 4316. That takes you through to some options. Um, basically, if you enjoyed today, we hope you did enjoy today, um, what would you like us to do the next web webinar on? Okay, so we've got bed bug management. Um, we've got uh, our new digital pest management solution. 
um, or, or free control. So when you when that comes up, you just put what you'd like to see first, what you'd like to see second, um, and what you'd like to see third. So at the top there, if you go to menti.com, And it's four seven four three six. Excellent. Got some some coming in. I'll just leave it up for 30 more seconds before we um, just talk about CPD points and wrap up. Please just take as long as you work. Thank you very much, guys. So it looks like we have an overall winner of um, our new digital pest management uh, solution. So, yeah, what we'd like to do is put something together. We we'll put something a bit more formal together this time. We have a, a page on our website where you'll be able to log in and, and show interest in, in what webinars you'd like to see. So watch that. We'll make sure you're aware of that. That's coming uh, coming shortly. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, so for CPD, um, if you are on BPCA registered, um, you log in through your normal way and say that you've attended an hour's webinar um, and that will allocate um, you the points. Um, if you are basis prompt, if you take your phone out now, uh, scan the QR code. Uh, for basis prompt, they've awarded us one point for today's webinar. If you scan that QR code, mo um, if you've got a smartphone, just open up the camera. That will take you through to a web page. Um, all we need from you is your, um, your surname. Um, and your basis prompt number. If you are on your phones and you're unable to scan that um, QR code, if you just email us at pestsolutions at bayer.com. And like I said, if you've got any other questions, please email us at pestsolutions at bayer.com. Thank you very much. Thank you for attending our first um, Bayer Live webinar. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. Bye bye.